Now, Arnab, I'm curious to get a sense from you about where we're at with regards to the global economic recovery, because the concern that you have is that this rebound recovery is starting to level off. Why? Yeah, I think that's right. I think, you know, we're having a resurgence of cases. Um, I wouldn't call it a, a second wave. It's really secondary outbreaks following on from the first wave with all the relaxations and reopenings that we've had. And as a result, um, you know, of course, there have been many regional lockdowns uh, and, and restrictions reimposed, not national, but regional. And so, of course, that's going to have an effect on the recovery. I think it's playing out pretty much as we were thinking it would so far, right, which is that We've had this great compression in economic activity from um, from these national sort of intensive lockdowns. We've had a bit of a rebound on some of the relaxations and reopenings, and now things are starting to level off a bit um, as we have these regional lockdowns once again, and as various kinds of limits to to the speed of the recovery come into play. Right, not least being the uh, the debt that's been issued and the the revenue and the income losses that have come through. Uh, from the first wave of, of of major lockdowns, so I think that's you know that's kind of the challenge we face. The good news is that I think that implies that monetary policy and fiscal policy will have to remain very loose for quite some time. That inflation would be under pressure, and therefore financial conditions would remain quite easy and markets quite buoyant. So markets have been buoyant. The underlying economic fundamentals perhaps looking like they're on more shaky ground. How do you take advantage of this low growth, low rate, low dollar, uh, weak environment broadly with regards to equities? What are you looking at? Well, I think you have to be, um, you know, you have to be somewhat risk on. But I think against that, you also have to be judicious and, and selective. Um, I think the world that we're in, that we're going into and, and heading through is going to be increasingly sort of idiosyncratic, right? It's going to be more country specific uh, and more sector specific and maybe even single name specific uh, than very generalized. I think we already start to see that, right? There's quite a lot of dispersion uh, in historical returns this year, but, but in general as well, especially this year. Um, I think those constraints to the, the, the that limit the speed of the recovery and the extent of the recovery, they owe a lot to uh, kind of national economic structure, right? Some countries are more manufacturing heavy, obviously. Some countries are more services, tourism, hospitality, leisure oriented. And so those things are going to make a big difference. I think it's very early to rule out uh, any particular shape of recovery, right? Let's say we get this long hoped for uh, much sought after vaccine and it becomes widely available um, sooner than expected, right? I wouldn't count on it, but if it does happen, um, the path that we're on could shift from, uh, you know, what I what I call the square root recovery to something closer to a V. So we're not in the V camp, but I wouldn't rule it out completely. So I wouldn't take mm -hmm. chips off the table, um, uh, you know, that, that, that would benefit from uh, from a generalized, much faster recovery, hence the idea that we'll still be a bit risk on here. Uh, but against that, I would be, like I say, I'd be quite judicious and, and selective and mm. diversified because of all the uncertainties.